Hi friends, welcome to my channel. My name is Anna and today I have an interview with my friend Helen who is currently studying in Germany for free. By the way, this is her second education. Today we are going to discuss how to study abroad for free, the main problem of students abroad and the main advantages of uh, such study when you are looking for a job. If you are interested in this topic, please continue watching and don't forget to subscribe my channel. Hi Helen. Finally, we have an interview with you. Hi, Anna. Glad to be here with you. Yeah, so today I want to talk with you about uh, your study in Germany uh, to discuss some things, uh, some problems, challenges, etc. So I think the good question for the start is why you have decided to study abroad and what is your major? I'm studying here uh, actually in Germany, in Munich at Technical University. And my major is management and technology. Uh, so in management and technology, every student can choose their specialization. Uh, and um, in technology, I decided to study informatics and in management, innovation and marketing. Uh, so students are very flexible and uh, free to choose what they, are, uh, what they want uh, specifically to study. And I decided to move there and study in Germany, first of all, because uh, I wanted to move there. And for me, as a graduate uh, in economics and banking with the Ukrainian education, unfortunately, I couldn't uh, find a job I wanted uh, at that point in time. And that's why I decided to study once again and, uh, yeah, and have one more bachelor and in informatics and management in Munich. I see. And what universities you have considered and why you have chosen TUM? I have considered uh, different universities in different cities in Germany. Actually, the most of them were in Bavaria, uh, in Munich, uh, two universities. Um, one of them were TUM, a uh, technical university, and also in Ingolstadt and Berlin. But uh, I received an admission only from all the universities in Bavaria and no answer from Berlin. And that's why um, actually I'm now in two. Um, yeah. Uh, is it true that the study is free of charge? Uh, yes, it's, it is true. In all of the univers state universities in Germany, the education is free of charge, both for uh, AU students and also uh, students from uh, other countries. The only thing that students are obliged to pay is uh, like 150 euros per semester for the, uh, it's like contribution to the uh, student organization. And also you can use the public transport uh, free of charge on weekends, uh, on public holidays, and also on weekdays after 6 p.m. So is it necessary to know German for the study? or it's possible to enter this university if you know English? I would say it is very recommended to, um, to uh, speak German as well, but uh, there are different programs uh, which allows you uh, study up to 100% in English. But I would say in our universities, for example, it is announced that you can study uh, absolutely 100% in English, but for when you would choose a specialization in technology, for example, my specialization is uh, fully uh, taught in, uh, in German. So you would probably be some, uh, somehow restricted in your choice if you uh, would have no knowledge in German. So I would say um, it is very recommendable to, to know German. Mm -hmm. I see. And what is the most complicated thing for you now? I mean, what are the main problems and challenges that you are currently facing? Uh, I must say that uh, most of the challenges and problems people encounter on the first months uh, of living in Germany and on the face of uh, application, uh, conducting all the interviews, uh, got an admission and so on. Um, because on the first months of living there, you need to register your address, find accommodation, find new friends, uh, and so on. So I would say that uh, the first months are the most challenging. You're a student of the third year. 
what is the most complicated thing for you? I would say that uh, the most challenging stuff are happening in the beginning of your studies when you're moving and need to deal with all the stuff related. Uh, but since you uh, get used to it and uh, like have a job as a working student that you enjoy, so it's totally okay. I would say it's not that stressful as at the beginning. Mm -hmm. And do you like your university? Does it meet your expectations? Yeah, in terms of uh, the level of teaching and so on, I'm um, absolutely, um, absolutely satisfied with everything. But um, um, I would say that I didn't expect that uh, these studies would be that hard. Uh, so I would recommend all the people who uh, are willing to, to study in Germany, uh, like to take it seriously from the beginning and to mm -hmm. study systematically and it will help you anyway during your exam space and uh, so on. How much time do you spend for studying and uh, is it actually difficult to study at TUM? I suppose that you uh, would spend all your time studying because uh, it's a lot of material and the exams are really hard. And uh, for me, it was surprising that uh, it surprised me that uh, not all the people uh, like pass their exams from the first time and it's okay that people have retakes for three times or even more for example in, in different universities it's uh it's organized differently but uh at TUM you have um no uh, like restricted amount of times you can uh try to pass your exam but uh, of course you have uh, to uh, meet the uh, credit requirements for uh, every semester but yep uh, i would say that we study uh, more complicated stuff uh, in informatics and in data databases that you would uh, find on some uh, courses in the internet i think that you will benefit from it in the future while looking for a job and uh, having competitive advantage on the labor market and of course, yeah. you also need to take into account that um, a lot of people there already have this uh, foundational, technical, strong education and mm -hmm. uh, you need to be able to compete with them. Sure. Yeah, nice. Nice. And what would you recommend to yourself if you were going to enter to the university now? I would recommend uh, to, to practice German work because uh, I was moving to Germany. My German was uh, good enough, as I thought, but uh, when you really dive into life there and all the uh, all this stuff you need to deal with, or prepare all the documents, uh, communicate with people, you find finding accommodation, German will help you a lot. So I would recommend to uh, practice the language a lot at your, at your home country as far as you have uh, a possibility to do so like with native speakers online to take some lessons it would be very helpful does study abroad give you competitive advantage while looking for a job so from my from my experience i would say yes because mm -hmm. uh, without uh, Without German uh, university in CV, as I was applying for a job uh, in Germany, I didn't uh, receive any responses. So I would say it would help a lot. Um, but if you already have uh, three plus years experience in IT, in analytics, and um, like related, uh, related areas, it would not be a problem to find a job in Germany but uh, yes as I said without any IT background and so on it is a mm -hmm. little, little bit challenging so either experience or background technical background yeah exactly how do you think what is the most important for German employees background what else I think uh, soft skills uh, are anyway very important not actually only for German employees but in general um, and also enthusiasm, persistence, uh, when the person is interested uh, in what, 
what she's what she or he is doing i think it's also very important and uh, uh, yeah it's clear enough for when you when you're looking for a job for the potential um, employer was it hard for you to find a job as a working student how long did it take um it took uh, for me like one month uh, but uh, it is also um, to be taken into account that in germany for example if you receive uh, receive an invitation for the interview the interview can happen in two weeks or even later and you should count with that time that it is a little bit longer than usual uh yeah but if you have uh, actually the concept of the of working as a student in germany uh like it already means that uh probably you have no experience it that would be your first job and uh the possibility to gain a new experience uh, so that after graduation it is easier for you to get a full-time job but for uh, mm -hmm. actually i had already work experience because before entering the german university so probably for me it was a little bit easier and what do you do at your work and which tools do you use uh, i'm working in the uh, department uh, business controlling so i both do cost accounting and also some analytics in python um yeah and but uh, normally uh, managers would expect for uh, analysts to have also computer science education or um, like uh, also sql knowledge and maybe uh, my last question how would you uh, estimate the complexity of moving to germany for non european union uh, citizens I would say that it's uh, time consuming and uh, because there are a lot of stuff you need to prepare in advance but uh, if you have been to Germany or have uh, like some relatives or friends who are already been there it uh, it is a little bit easier as it was in my case so I did an internship earlier and probably it was already easier so it's really great maybe to uh, organize yourself uh, like some short stay to understand whether you really need uh, to to move there where you whether you like everything maybe you need to uh, get some advice from people you know mm. great thank you so much for the interview it was super informative i guess everyone who watch this video will find something interesting and useful uh, thank you so much. Thank you also for invitation and I hope you guys find something interesting and helpful for you if you're going to uh, start your studies in Germany or move there for work. So good luck to everyone. Or, yeah, or even move abroad or study in other countries. Uh, I guess these advices are also applicable. Yeah, so thank you so much.